Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so your discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul but I'll remember our Tom fondly. Y'all I am so excited for today's video because I get to talk about my Sephora recommendations y'all have been asking and I've just been sitting here compiling them like a list like a list of Santa. <laughs> because I want to share with you the products that I totally think are worth checking out and if you can get them at a discount that's even better. Now y'all know I try a lot of products, a lot, a lot, a lot of products and so I really wanted to one, not repeat myself because I have made several videos about the Sephora sales events in the past. I'm going to link those down below. I still wholeheartedly believe all of those products are still worth checking out but again I don't want to make a seven hour video just being like remember this thing I came out two years ago? Whatever I'm just going to leave the videos down below. Go check them out at your leisure. It's all good. So in today's video I really just wanted to think about the products that came out this year. There may be one or two products that have been around for a while but I discovered them this year so hence they're new to me. <laughs> but for the most part I think I have like a really good mix of stuff. Some surprising, some not so surprising. But that said if you want to know a little bit more about the Sephora sales event it's going to be starting on October 28th and running to November 7th. However there are several different tiers. So if you are a Rouge member meaning that you will get 20% off. It starts from October 28th and it ends November 7th. If you're a VIB, the sale will start for you on November 1st and will last to November 7th and you can get 15% off. If you are an insider, you can get 10% off and that starts November 3rd to November 7th. Definitely make sure you use the code savings at checkout. Otherwise you're paying full price. The other thing I want to note too, actually two things. One, if you were interested in checking out say some bigger brands like Pat McGrath for example, right? Don't necessarily wait for the Sephora sale. Pat McGrath, specifically Pat McGrath, usually has like 85 sales throughout the year, okay? And they're usually better than say the Sephora sale. And it's not just Pat McGrath. Other brands do this too because they want to compete obviously with Sephora. Sometimes you might find 20 or 30 percent and you don't need to be like a certain level status, okay? So kind of keep that in mind if you're looking for specific products. The other thing which I feel like nobody says, shop responsibly. Just shop responsibly. Don't go into debt because of this. Remember these sales happen all the time throughout the year. Don't feel pressured by me or this other bitch <laughs> or this other bitch telling you that you need to get something. You know your finances. If you can swing it, great. If you can't, it will be around another day, okay? Don't feel like, ah, oh, I need to get this. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's stupid. Take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> I just want to get that out there because I feel like sometimes people just kind of gloss over that and are like, oh my god, I need to buy everything. You don't need to buy everything. Don't feel like you're missing out on anything, okay? Kind of remember that. But also furthermore, I feel like there's just going to be a lot of sales in general. So again, just don't feel pressured. That said, I'm going to break this down by category and uh, we're going to go from there, all right? And the first category I'm going to start with is skincare. I know. And the first product I want to talk about is the Tower 28 Intensive Rescue Serum. This is awesome. I don't know. This is probably like my third bottle at this point. It kind of shoots out a little bukkake-ish. Not gonna lie. So it's kind of best if you use like a cotton round and shoot it into the cotton round because shooting it into the face just kind of is like a very weird experience. But this is great for those that have redness in their skin. I have redness in my skin and I find this to be super, super soothing and nice. And this is just, you know, one of the many steps in my skincare routine. But I feel like if I don't have it, my skin craves it. My skin feels softer, smoother, and overall it just gives me this really beautiful healthy glow. Cannot recommend this enough. And usually during these sales that's when I kind of buy more backups of these. And the other thing that's really great about this product is that there's no fragrance and it's alcohol free so it will not dry you out. This is fucking fantastic. And I think the other skincare-y one, oh you know what, actually let's talk about this one. So uh, this is from Sol de Janeiro. I love the Bum Bum Cream or the Boom Boom Cream or whatever the fuck it's called. I love that. I love that scent. But I found this one this year and this is the Bum Dia Bright Cream. First of all, this smells like fucking heaven. Oh my god. I don't have the best sense of smell but this is just so satisfying. It's so smooth. It's like butter. But most importantly, it's one of those body lotions that just doesn't feel greasy. It just feels really really comfortable on the skin and it just has a beautiful beautiful scent. I can't really describe the notes of it other than it smells pleasant like a good childhood memory. <laughs> 
if that makes any sense. And I feel like if you know, you know. But this is wonderful. And there's also a spray too, like a, a nice little body spray. I'm not one to do perfume because it looks complicated to me. And again, not the best sense of smell, but I do love a good body spray because I am in seventh grade after all. And I just love the spray. And I think it's also good for the hair as well. I'll pop a picture up here because I literally just finished it the other day and I need to go buy another one during the sale. But anyway, this scent is fantastic. And dare I say, it's actually better than the original Boom Boom or Bum Bum cream scent. So highly recommend checking this out. The next complexion-y product I want to talk about is from Dr. Jart. Okay, I actually do have a couple of Dr. Jart things in today's video. Yep, I do. This is wonderful. So this is the CC Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. Now I have been using this a lot this year. And as you know, I do have redness in my skin. I like to cover it up. I like to do my best to kind of cover those sins. And this is awesome. Dare I say, I think I might, I don't know, I'm kind of like torn because I love the Aborian one. I think that one's really good, but I really like this one too. And I find myself reaching for this more and more and more. Yes, it comes in a little pot. So you kind of dip your little finger in there, but the color comes off like a pale green color, but as you start to kind of massage it into your skin, it really just takes over and it starts to blend very beautifully and effortlessly into the skin. I like the consistency of this product because I feel like it works very, very well with my foundations and primers. I never really kind of noticed anything kind of funky with it. I really like the shade of this. And I just think uh, for me, I like a lot of lighter coverage options, especially since moving to Florida, I never want to be bogged down with a lot of bullshit on my face. And this has been fantastic for that. So this has kind of been the reason why I'm able to get away with so many like lighter coverage options because listen, hi, I don't like seeing the redness in my face. It looks funky. I fucking hate it. So by combining this and being able to use something lighter, say like the Summer Fridays tint, it just makes me look like the skin I was supposed to have. <laughs> instead of the fucking red monster that's before you. And that's why I love this. So if you're looking for a good color corrector, highly, highly, highly recommend checking this one out. Some say it's witchcraft. The color changing in this is top notch. Now let's move on to foundations. I have a lot of foundations to talk about today. So let's move on to the, okay, I'm gonna start with more of like the medium to full coverage shit. We'll work our way down. So the first one I wanna recommend is from House Labs. I can't stop wearing this. This is fucking fantastic. I think this is like my new favorite foundation that I found this year. This is awesome. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm still loving like the NARS foundation, the Makeup Forever foundation, but really since discovering this, it's hard to put it down. I'm so glad that House Labs rebranded because that Amazon shit was not fucking it. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I really tried to get on board because I like Lady Gaga. I really tried, but it just wasn't there. This is fantastic. Not only does it feel luxurious and kind of looks like La Mer, it's definitely a third of the fucking price. <laughs> and it kind of reminds me a little bit actually of the La Mer foundation. This just sits so beautifully on the skin. It's one of those foundations that you forget you even have makeup on because it's so lightweight, so comfortable. You look gorgeous. You don't want to wash your fucking face because you don't want to see the monster that's <laughs> beneath it. This is awesome. It has great longevity, doesn't settle into your fine lines, doesn't get patchy, doesn't break down weird. It's just beautiful. I have dry, dry skin. Using this and pairing it with a hydrating primer is fucking delicious. I love this. If they ever stop making this, I will fucking riot, okay? That's how much I love this. Now this is a medium coverage foundation, but you can build it up to get to be like a high medium, almost full coverage. What helps this though is if you pair it with a high coverage concealer to seal the deal. But I like the natural finish. It doesn't feel too drying on my skin and the shade range is wonderful. However, the undertones could be kind of funky online. Go check it out in store to obviously get the best shade match for you if you can, but this is fantastic. For shade reference, if you are, you know, uncooked chicken like myself, I kind of go back and forth between uh, 50, which is fair cool, and 70. I actually like combining both of them. I think it just is really beautiful. 70 is just like a hair too dark for me, but 50 is kind of perfect, but I don't know, just a combination of the two is super fantastic. Anyway, love, love, love this one. And the other foundation I love, I love this Kosas one. I feel like a lot of people give it shit, but this, I think it's so good. So this is called the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. Has SPF 25 in it, has niacinamide, has hyaluronic acid, has everything that you need and want in a foundation. It's another foundation and that is a natural finish. You can get like a nice medium, high medium coverage with this. And I feel like it just does a really nice job like melting into the skin and really just giving you that your skin but better feel. And again, 
again, another foundation that you can just wear constantly, forget that you have it on, and you just refuse to wash your face. Now, if you had to pick between these two, I think I would lean more towards this one, but I think both of them are wonderful. Now, in terms of like BB cream, yo, bitch. Okay, this Dr. Jart one. So I recently discovered the Dr. Jart BB cream, the one that came in like the black packaging. I don't think they're making that one anymore. I think they're phasing that one out, and that's why they're kind of introducing this bad boy. So this is the Premium Beauty Balm. This has SPF 40 in it. It's supposed to hydrate, conceal, and protect, and it does just that. So this is in the shade Fair Light, which, oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's a very beautiful neutral option that just melts into the skin and gives such a beautiful, like just a beautiful base. I really love BB creams. I really love CC creams. And this one just doesn't disappoint. And it's another one that I just find myself constantly grabbing for. It's lightweight. It has a natural finish, but I will say, I feel like this kind of borders more on, it's not quite a radiant finish, but I feel like it's a little bit more radiant, say in comparison to these two. I feel like my skin looks brighter moisturize it just evens it out like I just I love this I love this so much it doesn't settle into your fine lines it's super long wearing super comfortable like I cannot stress enough how wonderful this one is and kind of keeping in that same vein we have this one from super goop this is the CC screen which it's a hundred percent mineral CC cream has SPF 50 in this one this was a godsend okay I discovered this fairly recently it's been uh, on the warmer side here now it's starting to kind of cool down and by cool down I mean it's 80 <laughs> And this has been fucking great. Again, another product that has a natural finish. I would say out of all of the ones that I'm showing you, this probably has the thickest consistency, but when applied with a brush, it just melts beautifully onto the skin. It has great coverage, and I feel like my face is protected. This has been wonderful on those really, really hot and humid days where I feel like I'm sweating, my foundation's running down my face, but in reality, it's not. Everything is in place. This is awesome. And now I know this is gonna be like one of my go-tos for when it's like fucking blood boiling 100 degrees here. I'm gonna be reaching for this a lot. And then the last thing I wanna mention, my light coverage option which is from summer fridays so this is the sheer skin tint bitch where have you been all my life okay so listen i love lighter options i really do ever since moving down here i never want anything like super heavy sitting on my skin so i think this mixed in with the dr jart color corrector and a high coverage concealer bitch i am set for days okay this has such a beautiful finish another one that has niacinamide hyaluronic acid it's another one that's your skin but better and it's funny because this one also has tiger grass in it. The combination of these two products are fucking life-changing, but this blends so easily and so beautifully. It has incredible longevity. And again, another one where I just don't want to take it off my face. I just want my skin to always look like this. I think with the addition of like the hyaluronic acid and the squalene, my skin just looks plump and supple and just smooth. And I think this is probably the best product for that no makeup, makeup, no makeup look. I didn't experience any breaking out or anything like that. Like this has just been so perfect for the skin. I love my Chantecai Just Tinted Moisturizer. I think that's such a beautiful product. I say this is actually better. And I love that product. I love it with my whole heart, my whole body, okay? <laughs> but I think there's something about this one that just, I don't know, it, one is a better shade match for me because the Chantecai one, sometimes it can kind of come off like a little bit too dark and, I, and I'm and i like the lightest shade. Sometimes it can look a little funky around my neck. This is a perfect shade, I feel like, for my uncooked chicken ass. And overall, I just like how beautiful this looks on the skin. Like, this is fucking great. Highly recommend checking out these options. Now, regarding concealers, I have four good ones. And the first one is going to be the Kosas Concealer. So this is going to be like the little sister <laughs> to the foundation. This is fantastic. This is called the Revealer Super Creamy Brightening Concealer. This has a radiant finish, doesn't settle into your fine lines, has a beautiful medium coverage. The only downside to this product is that it's a, a medium high medium. So if you're looking for more full coverage, no matter how much product you put on your face, it's never gonna get quite to full coverage. So if you're looking for that, I do have some other recommendations, but this is really good just for like a nice medium coverage that just, I don't know, looks beautiful and looks like your skin and it doesn't look like you have a lot of makeup on which you know I kind of keep going back and forth between looking like a baby drag queen versus that no makeup makeup no makeup look and I feel like this is kind of more leaning towards that no makeup makeup no makeup look and I like that for this but I really love how it looks under my eyes again I have dry skin for reference dry mummy dick skin I've <laughs> 
<laughs> Bitch, you would think I don't drink water, okay? <laughs> like, that's how dry my skin is. And I drink water like gallons, okay? <sighs> Too much water, in fact, mixed with some vodka, but whatever, anyway. <laughs> this is beautiful for the under eyes. It never settles into fine lines and just always looks plump and juicy. I just wanna bite it, so good. The other concealer that I really like, this is a brightening concealer, is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. This is everything that you think it's gonna be. This is a really good medium to high medium full coverage concealer. And it's super motherfucking brightening. Like it's shocking how brightening it is, but in a good way, not in like a scary way, <laughs> in a good way. Another one that is long wearing, has hyaluronic acid. So, so your under eye area always just looks plump and juicy. And it has an incredible longevity. I always find the first place that my skin dehydrates is usually my under eyes. And anytime I have this concealer on, I could literally be melting, but under my eyes look fucking perfect. This is awesome. And if they ever stop making this, I will fucking riot again, another product, but this is beautiful. And for reference, I am the shade Too Fair. I just, I find it, oh, it's so good. The doe foot's good too. And usually Charlotte Tilbury has that kind of a, like Simpsons character yellow kind of effect on me. This one I think is just a beautiful neutral option. Oh my God, it's just so gorgeous. And it blends so beautifully and effortlessly. Again, I do like Charlotte. And sometimes I find that when it comes to foundations and shit, like it never really works for me. And so I was so fucking excited to see a concealer that can actually speak to the claims of what they're describing. And this is just beautiful. So if you're looking for a nice radiant concealer, highly recommend. And then the other two concealers are kind of more for my like lighter coverage days. I don't necessarily like how they look under my eyes, but all over my face for a spot concealing and just overall just like carving things out to making me look like perfection. These are the best two. And the first one is from Bobbi Brown. The skin concealer stick, fuck me up. I have a nub, there's nothing left here. I have it in the shade porcelain. I need seven more of these. I was like, no, I can still try to get out some product. This is fantastic. I don't know what the hell is in it. I just love it though. <laughs> Again, another natural finished product that's really, really good for coverage. It's super long wearing, and I think this mix in with a lighter coverage option just keeps all your imperfections at bay. This is fantastic. I think under my eyes, it's okay. It's a little bit drying, so I don't like seeing how my under eyes look, but the rest of my face, bitch, I am fucking obsessed. I also have like a little bit of redness, kind of from my under eye area to like the high point of my cheek. This is a godsend. This makes my skin more seamless when I use this product. I fucking love it. So I need to buy at least seven of these obviously during the sale. And the other one is the Milk Makeup Future Fluid uh, All Over Cream Concealer. Again, don't like it under my eyes. It, mm -hmm. I don't like it. It's weird. But I think just all over my face. Yes, please. Oh my god, this is so good. Again, another product that has a natural finish. You can see the theme here. This one is a very brightening, very full coverage concealer that I think just meshes very, very well with my foundations to give me a more like full coverage base. So this is my go-to when I want to kind of have full coverage without having to go to a full coverage foundation. Now I do have some full coverage foundations in my collection that are on the lightweight side and I love them, but I do have, you know, a fair amount of other foundations that, you know, if I do build it up to full coverage, it just feels heavy, but I like what they look like when they're medium, if you know what I mean. So I think if I'm looking for that full coverage moment, this is just an awesome tool to have because one, it's truly weightless, and two, it really provides that full coverage moment that I need. This is fantastic. Again, don't like it under my eyes. I think it's too drying, it's meh. It settles into my fine lines and all that shit, and I don't have time for that. But around my face, it doesn't. I don't understand what the fuck is that about. I'm not gonna question it, it is what it is. I love this for all over around my face, just not in my under eyes, so this is definitely worth checking out. And for shade reference, I am the shade 3N in this guy. Regarding powders, there are two powders that I wanna talk about before we start jumping into like face palettes. And the first one is Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish. Bitch, bitch, this is fucking everything. Okay, listen, if you are like me, right? And you fell in love <laughs> with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. This one, this guy right here, okay? If you love this product, you are going to love this product. It's essentially the same fucking thing I find, except this is in a compact form as opposed to this being a loose powder. This not only sets my under eyes beautifully, this provides just a beautiful brightening moment. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. It's so 
good. It definitely keeps the focus right in the center of your face. And it's just so soft looking. And no matter how much fucking product you use, it never dries out or feels cakey. It's just so airbrushed. The best way to describe this. Now I can technically set my whole face with this powder. And no, I don't look like Casper, but it's a very brightening moment. So for me, I like using this if I have like a foundation that's a little bit too dark for me and you could kind of see the clear line of like, oh, that is not you. <laughs> That's if you stepped out into the sun, baby, and we all know that I don't do that. Then I like using this powder because it kind of offsets that. But for me, I think the sole purpose will always just be the under eyes. I have been on the hunt for an under eye powder, bitch, and I finally found it. And it makes me happy that this is not a limited edition product, that this is a product that I'm always gonna have until they stop making it, which in that case, I will riot. So let's hope that never happens. <laughs> but this is fantastic. Highly recommend it. If you are someone that liked this product, I kind of find them to be very, very similar. They're very soft milled even though this is in a compact form the powder is just very soft it just blends in beautifully it doesn't sit on top of the skin it's just a perfect under eye powder for me and I've been trying a lot of them I have the, even the Pat McGrath one which is fine you know I think it's okay it's not my favorite thing in the world like the little guy this little guy here it's okay you know mm. It's all right. This one kind of feels a little bit more chalky in comparison to the Charlotte Tilbury. This one just feels smooth. It's smooth and it just sits. Oh, it's just so beautifully onto the skin. And it's just, I would say a little bit more brightening than the Pat McGrath. So anyway, highly recommend checking that one out. And then of course my tried and true, I swear I fucking house labs, man. They're fucking wonderful. They are so good. And this setting powder, I already bought a backup because I'm pretty low on this one. This is the Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder. This is fantastic. I think it does a great job at blurring my imperfections. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Chantecai Blurring Powder, except, you know, I still have a special place in my heart for that powder. But I think this is just fantastic for setting the face. And no matter what foundation I have used where I just feel like, oh God, like, I don't know how I feel about this. I just kind of want to look more smooth and more blurred and have this airbrush moment. This is that bitch. If you are someone like me that has dry skin and are scared of powder, don't be scared of this one. It just sits so beautifully onto the skin. It doesn't feel like you have a layer of dust on. It just makes everything just so seamless and so beautiful. And it really gives you that soft focus feel. Like I love hourglass powders too, but sometimes I notice if I do use a little too much, I get a little dusty looking. This, I could literally use the whole fucking thing and I'm still gonna look beautiful. It doesn't look heavy on my skin. I'm not cakey, I'm not having a Mrs. Doubtfire, hello moment. I'm not doing any of that. Like this is perfection. These two are things that I plan on repurchasing, but I just got this one actually not that long ago because I'm running low on it. And I think I might just go pick up another one because this is something that I just find myself reaching for all the time. This is awesome. So let's move to face palettes and listen, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to recommend them. <sighs> Bitch, hourglass. Oh my God. First of all, packaging 10 out of 10, 10 out of fucking 10. These are fantastic. These are the ambient lighting face palettes. So I have it in the elephant shade. I actually went on Hourglass's website because I hate the butterfly packaging because I don't like butterflies. They creep me the fuck out and I really just love this weird kind of Gucci rich old woman bathroom moment. <laughs> I love the tiger print. This is technically the butterfly palette, the ethereal palette. If you are uncooked chicken, this is fantastic. Not only are the two setting powders or the finishing powders fantastic, you have a lovely, a lovely highlighter that is just so fucking blinding and beautiful. And oh, it's just so scrumptious. The two blushes are awesome as well. They're so soft and just so perfect. This is just probably one of, you know what, fuck it. It's my favorite hourglass palette. I have quite a few of them over the years. And this is the one that I reach for constantly. It's hard to stop using that. Now, I love the elephant one too, but I do think if you are uncooked chicken like me, the butterfly one will probably be your best bet. You can get away with using the elephant one because I mean, the bronzer is really fucking good. The blushes are awesome. And even the finishing powder, which is dim light. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can get a lot of versatility in this one, but I think if you are uncooked chicken like myself, the butterfly palette is a no brainer. Like it's just, it's so good. It's so good. It's honestly one of my favorite holiday finds this year. Like I am beyond impressed. And I like that there is another variation to these palettes. So it's not just like the same bullshit, the same pans over and over again. These feel different. I fucking love them. And the packaging is so good. Now, of course, if you're like me and you're scared of butterflies and all that good shit, you can definitely go on the Hourglass website to get, get the custom packaging with the palette that you want. So the ones sold at Sephora, unfortunately not the custom ones. So just kind of something to think about if you were interested in picking them up. These are fantastic though. Honestly, this is, like I said, 
best pop yeah, best holiday thing so far, I would say. It's just fucking good. They're so good. It makes me excited to see what else Hourglass is working on. So I really hope that they kind of keep up with this theme. The fucking, the packaging is so beautiful. Definitely sold it for me first, not gonna lie, because it's like, you know, like, oh yeah, I like this. But like, I really thought it was like, oh no, I just want it because of the packaging. But it wasn't until I had it in my hands where I'm like, oh no, no, this is fantastic. Anyway, highly, highly, highly recommend checking these out. The next product I want to talk about is from Natasha Denona. And listen, the My Dream collection. I fucking really like it. I'm actually kind of surprised with how much I've been enjoying it. So this is the My Dream Cheek Trio. This is a blush and highlighter palette. The blush, it's just such a pretty, pretty cream formula. The highlighters, you have like a nice little cream base one that gives you that little something extra. And then of course you have the powder highlighter that is just so good. My problem usually with Natasha Denona shit is that it often is just too dark for me. And I want to love it and it's just never fucking works out and this is something that is really just perfect for me. It gives me that icy alien slut moment that I live for. The cream blush which is in like a dusty pink color, the formula is so good. It's so smooth. When Natasha does a good cream formula she does it right and that blush does not disappoint. It's one of those blushes where I feel like the last face palette that I tried from her or the holiday one last year, it just like after a couple hours it's like poof the blush ran away and decided to join the circus and it was really fucking annoying because I love the color of it and I was like why aren't you staying on my face? Why don't you let me love you? I don't understand, okay? This though, this has great longevity. It blends beautifully with my foundation. It doesn't pick up any of the product underneath. It just sets down so beautifully, just blends in effortlessly. It's gorgeous. The highlighters, I really like the cream one. The lighter coverage option, especially if I'm going for like a more of a lighter coverage look, I just think it's like a beautiful like pop on the cheekbones. Absolutely stunning. But the powder highlighter, bitch, that is fucking alien slut goals. It's just that pop you need, but oh my God, it just, it fucking pops, bitch. <laughs> Probably the best way I can describe it. It just pops. It's giving me all the feels. I'm obsessed. I'm in love. I need more of this. This is the energy I want, not whatever the fuck that was last year. This, give me more of this. Love this. The other thing, like I'm kind of on the fence about recommending, like I kind of go back and forth a couple of times on this. This is starting to grow on me. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Beautifying Blush and Highlighter Palette. When I first used this one, I was like, where the fuck is the pigment? Where is it? Where is it? And I realized it was one of those products that I just needed to kind of use a stiffer brush with because when you use a light fluffy brush, it just wasn't giving me anything. Now, granted, I am a big fan, big fan of the highlighter, the compact highlighter that came out. This is definitely the diet slut version. <laughs> The giant alien slut version of that highlighter. I like that highlighter because it was very like in your face and it was just like something I was not expecting. This is definitely more on the subtle side, but there is something really beautiful. I mean, I have it on my skin today. There is something really beautiful about it that I really do like. I just really needed to get in there to get the product. But once I do, I think it's very pretty. I really do like it, but it's something that I regret paying for full price. So I think if you were interested in this, this is a perfect thing to get during the sale because at least at that price point, it doesn't feel like a complete waste of money. Again, this one grew on me. There's a lot of newer products that I have tried, like say the Pat McGrath stuff. I'm not recommending any of that shit. I even at a discount, I don't even think it's fucking really worth it at 20%. If you don't get it for 30% or more, I don't think it's worth checking out. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of that holiday collection. So that's why it's not going to be on this fucking list or the Huda Beauty palette. I'm like, eh, like it's whatever. Who gives a shit about that? But I think out of all of the newer high end shit, this is probably the thing that I find myself reaching for. And it was only because I switched up using like a different brush and like really kind of getting in there. So yes, but this should be like on the bottom of your list. Like I like it, but like if you could somehow find it even cheaper, that's great. But listen, if you can at least get anywhere from like 10 to 20% off, this is gonna be fine. Don't spend full price. Just don't pay for it full price. All right, now I'm gonna move on to bronzers and I just have cream bronzers, y'all. That's all I have. I actually have tried some other powder bronzers as of late, but none of them that are sold in Sephora. So I'm only gonna focus on the cream ones. And the first one is um, from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beautiful Skin Sunkiss Glow Bronzer. I have it in the shade Fair. This is a great cream bronzer. 
sponsor. This is awesome. If you are, again, uncooked chicken, this is just a very beautiful neutral option. It doesn't feel too cool. It's just in the middle. It's the Goldie Cox of bronzers. I love that. <laughs> I love that. This is fantastic. I like how it blends into the skin to give you that soft sculpted look. I think this paired with the powder bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury is perfection. Highly recommend checking this one out. Then we have, actually, if I had to rank them though, this would probably be number three. Oh, these two, I, they're kind of tied for one. All right, so Makeup by Mario, right? Ooh, bitch. Okay, so Makeup by Mario. So technically they're like two different products here. So. Makeup by Mario released a kind of like bronzer contour, like powder and cream. The powder, I don't recommend. I think it's just weird. I really haven't found a way for it to work. It's just okay. I'm probably gonna declutter it very soon. The cream though, this is in the shade light. This is Super Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. These are for the babies that do not like bronzer. And they don't like bronzer because they just feel like it's just too much for their skin and they just want a little bit of something without like bronzing the shit out of their face. This is that product. So this is what it looks like up here. Not only is it very hydrating and just makes your skin just look radiant and beautiful. It just gives you that perfect tiny bit of warmth without overly bronzing your skin. Like it looks natural. This is probably the most natural thing out of the bronzers that I'm talking about. This is for those that don't like bronzer but want a little something extra without fully committing. Probably the best way that I can describe it. This blends beautifully, beautifully with foundation. Again, kind of gives you that soft sculpted look. You can build it up to have it a little bit more intense, which is what I like, but this is just perfect. This is perfect for that no makeup, makeup, no makeup look. This combined with the summer fry Friday's tinted moisturizer. Bitch, it's like you are coming back from vacation and you know, you're kind of holding on to your tan a little bit. Like that's probably the best way I can describe it. Like it looks natural and it looks beautiful. This is fucking fantastic. I wish I could say the same for the powder. I just think the powder is, I don't know, like it's, I don't know why they created it. <laughs> it's just like, it's a weird product to me. This is everything that you want it to be and more. Highly recommend checking this one out. But this is where I'm gonna have to fucking eat my hat, okay? Because, <laughs> This is, I, it makes me laugh. Oh, okay, so say, right? Say Beauty. I talk a lot of shit about Say Beauty and it's because I don't understand them. Uh, their foundation and their concealer suck. All right, for me anyway. They look horrible on me. I've enjoyed their blushes and, oh, their highlighter is also dog shit too. It's like highlighter primer thing. It fucking sucks. Anyway, I love their blushes. I think their blushes are fantastic. But when I tried this bronzer, yo, this is probably one of the most like overhyped bronzers I feel like. Cause everyone's like, oh my God, did you try it? I'm like, no. Ugh. This is something I feel like everybody talks about and everybody has like fondness for and I fucking understand why. This is so good. Oh, I can't stop wearing this. I can't stop wearing this. This is so good. There's a reason why this is sold out constantly. This is a very beautiful, creamy, radiant option. This is the Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade Light Bronze. This is a very beautiful, neutral option. Again, another product where it just looks so natural on the skin. It doesn't even look like you have bronzer on because it just looks like you vacationing. Like that's how natural it looks. It melts beautifully into the skin, has incredible longevity, meshes very, very well with blush to just give you like this permanent vacation glow is probably the best way I can describe it. I feel like this product just does not have the capability of ever being patchy or cakey. It's just smooth. And no matter how much you apply, it's just like putting butter on your face, but in a very sexy way. <laughs> I'm kind of weird when I said it, but I still hold to it. <laughs> Such a natural bronze moment. It's so good. So good. It's impossible to be cakey. So if I had to rate everything, this is clearly a number three. Ooh, I don't know. Like these are definitely tired for one, but for two different reasons. This is for when I really want like a lighter coverage option. And this is when I just want to look like I'm sun kissed to the gods, but in the most like natural way possible. I get the hype. I get the hype. Again, there's a reason why this is sold out all the time. That is the safe product to get. Oh, bitch. Okay. Anyway, so moving on to blush. I have quite a few little blush guys. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is Gucci. Okay, <laughs> Gucci. I, listen, y'all know I have a very funny love-hate relationship with Gucci. Miss Gucci, bitch, this is everything. Not only is this aesthetically just beautiful, beautiful. The colors, the pigmentation, the formula, it's everything. It's everything, bitch. They are just soft and beautiful. It's like a little watercolor moment. This is luxury at its best. Oftentimes, you know, you get these like high luxury brands and their makeup is shitty and usually Gucci is shitty. <laughs> But when it comes to blushes, they do not disappoint. And it's one of those products that I feel like, I don't know, it just makes you feel like a better person. <laughs> 
it makes you just feel like a powerful bitch and I love it. And I plan on picking up a couple more of these colors because these bitches are pricey. But I have them in the shade Radiant Pink and Bright Coral and they're just so good. They're so good. They're so soft. They have really great longevity. They just mesh very beautifully with other products. It's actually what I have on my skin today. It has like that very like that light kiss of pink. It's so pretty. I don't know like how to describe it. It's just everything that you want in a luxury product. You know because it feels so opulent in your hand. I love the weight of it. I love the gold accents. I just love how simple the packaging is. And unlike some Gucci products it doesn't smell like grandma's vagina. So <laughs> These are great. I love them. I love them. Actually, does it smell like grandma's vagina? I don't think it does. It's a very light grandma vagina smell, but not as intense. <laughs> Not as intense as their other products, but these I highly recommend. The other blush product I want to talk about is from NARS. Listen, I know I recently talked about this. This is the Rising Star Cheek Palette. And even though mine came busted, okay, where I can literally take the pan out of it, so fucked up, um, this is great. This is really good formula. I think this is like my second or third NARS blush palette. This is by far my favorite one. There's something about the formula that is just so soft and beautiful. It gives you that baked gelée feel. It just just blends so beautifully, so effortlessly, and again has incredible longevity. It stays on your face. You don't have to fear it leaving your face. Like this is so good. There is a highlighter in here, and the highlighter is, you know, obviously it's a little bit too deep for me, but that's fine. The rest of the blushes, because they are all like a softer formula, even the ones that look a little bit like ooh too intense work for me, especially going in with kind of a lighter brush. Oof, it gives you like this very soft moment. Um, it's so good. Again, another one that has like that watercolor feel. Highly recommend checking this blush palette out. And again, because of the issue that the pan fell out, that's why I think it's like kind of good to get it while it's on sale because if that happens to you, at least you didn't pay full price for it. <laughs> Highly recommend checking this one out. So the next product I want to talk about are these little babies and these are from Benefit. These are the Wonderful, <laughs> Wonderful World Silky Soft Powder Blush. These are fucking great. So they come in two different sizes, but you can't get everything in, in a specific size. So you can get some things, but not others. So I do have a couple of minis. So like Peachin, Krista, Shelly, and then you have some of these bigger ones. We have Pom Pom, Willa, Butterfly, and Sunny. So I think I'm missing one, which I think I'm gonna go back and get it because I like to have a complete set. I'm a completionist. <laughs> and uh, the other reason is, is because the formula is just that fucking good. I've always had issues with Benefit's blush formula. I always found it to be too light and just, I don't know, like it was never anything to write home about. It was just like, okay. And it faded pretty quickly. So I never really loved it. Now, when I saw that they revamped the packaging, I was like, ooh, bitch. It used to be in a bulkier packaging because it had that stupid fucking Barbie brush in there. I'm so happy that they got rid of it to make it a much more like, sleek compact. These are not only adorable, but the fucking blush quality. I don't know what they're doing, but they're so good though. They are how they are described. They are a very soft and silky blush. Some of them have a matte finish. Some have a satin finish. It gives you that kind of light reflecting, that soft focus glow. It's not too garish. It's just like that perfect kiss of color on the cheeks. As you notice, that's like the theme here today. <laughs> I love products that kind of just give you that, that soft romantic vibe. Now there are days where I just want to look like a straight up circus clown and I fucking love those days. But more than that, I, I kind of focus more on like the soft blush moments, that watercolor effect. And I feel like these fit the bill for that. And the other thing that I like about it too is that they build up beautifully. So if you do want a very strong blush moment, you can achieve that with these blushes. And again, their longevity perfection. They're so fucking good. So highly recommend checking it out. I tried all the shades that I have so far. There's not a weird one in the bunch. They all operated very much the same. So if you were going to pick up one of them and it doesn't really matter fucking what color, pick the color that tickles your pickle. Just know that the formula is solid on each one of these. This is one of those products that I don't regret buying all of them of. Like I love these. Okay. So I know we have a lot of products, right? Uh, what am I going to talk about next? Ooh, let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. I only actually have a couple. Actually, I take that back. I have four. The first one. This is so good. Okay, so it's from Urban Decay. This is the Robin Eisenberg uh, collaboration. This initially, I think, was only sold in South America or Europe. I can't remember. And then eventually it came here. I am so glad that this was released here. It's so good. Not only is the packaging fucking stunning. And yes, it is called Naked. I get like, I know. I'm, I'm over it too. But I'm okay with this one because the color story, while yes, 
on the basic side. It's probably the most adventurous thing Urban Decay has done in a hot minute, but the quality is fantastic. The metallics are wonderful. The mats are wonderful. I'm actually thoroughly surprised how beautiful this was um, on the eye. Like I'm fucking beyond impressed. It's everything that you want to love about Urban Decay finally in a palette. The colors has great longevity. I didn't experience any patchiness, any shadow lifting. There was like minimal fallout. This is just like a perfect everyday palette. You have your neutrals, but you also have your pops of color. And again, the shimmers are actually fucking metallic and really good. Usually Urban Decay shimmers are not so good. This is fucking fantastic. This is kind of like my honey palette in a way. If you have the honey palette and you really enjoy the quality of that, I feel like this is pretty much on the same wavelength. And also the packaging. I mean, come on, bitch. The packaging is everything. Love that. You know what's so funny? I totally realized I skipped over highlighters, but let's finish eyeshadow palettes and then we'll go back to highlighters. <laughs> I just realized I have two highlighters staring at me. Oops, hold on. The other palette I wanna talk about is Natasha Denona. Listen, so this is the My Dream palette. This was good. I really enjoyed this palette. It's very rare do I am like, ooh, yes, Natasha Denona all the way. This did not disappoint. It didn't disappoint. Even their little baby multi-chrome didn't disappoint. Now, granted, is it the best multi-chrome in the land? No, obviously you're gonna go to an indie brand for that. But I think for what it is, it's fantastic. I like the mattes, I like the shimmer. I think it's really beautiful quality. I like the little color story. It's a very basic bitch dream. This was fantastic. This actually exceeded my expectations. I often look for shit to complain about when it comes to Natasha Denona because the price point is usually so fucking outrageous. But for this particular palette, I didn't have any issues at all. It's so good. It's really, really good. Highly recommend checking it out. Probably the most expensive palette that I'm gonna talk about is from Janessa Myricks. So this is the Lightwork Volume 4 palette. And this one, she is expensive, but I think for what she is and what you can get out of it, it's fucking worth every goddamn penny. The multi-chromes in this bitch. Now this is a fucking multi-chrome. These are special. And if you are someone that is new to multi-chromes and you're new to these like alien-esque shimmers, I say, this is actually a really nice starting point. I think it can get kind of overwhelming when you're looking at indie brands because there's so many of them. Not every indie brand is created equally. So some multi-chromes are better than others. And then you also have the, the whole deal of like, do you want single shadows? Do you want to have that? But say that burden. <laughs> Do you want to have that burden of a single shadow? Do you want the single shadows? You know what I mean? Like, or would you prefer something in a full palette? And I, I know I talked about this recently. I'm a bitch that just loves a full palette moment. So good. These are fucking good. I recommend this one because there is a lot of variety in this palette. There's a lot of different finishes that you get to play with. The ones in the center that are water activated. So I think for the price and what you're getting, I think it's worth it. And if you can get it at a discount, it's fucking even better. So I highly recommend checking this one out. And I think I actually like this one more so than the, the previous palette because in that one, while I did appreciate that there were different types of formula, there was a couple of like cream shadows that just didn't work for me. I have hooded eyes. They felt very kind of patchy and they never really stayed into place. These I haven't experienced issues with. And again, these are water activated. <laughs> They're swatching like shit. So these kind of need a little bit more like hand holding per se. But once you get there, they're fucking good bitch, they're good. So I highly recommend checking this one out. And the last palette I wanna mention, which I think is gonna be kind of a surprise, but I fucking really like it though. It's from one size. So this is, I know, I know, I know. This is the Fantasia Storybook palette. Okay, first of all, full disclosure, the only reason why I wanted to pick this up is because I love One Size's blush formula. I think their blushes is where it's at. It's one of my favorite things that I have found so far. It's so good. But when I tells you, when I tells you, when I tells you, ooh, bitch. Oh my God, first of all, the blushes are so good. They're so good. I really, really like how fucking basic this is. This is gorgeous. So first and foremost, in this palette, you get two eye topper shades, which honestly, eh, I think they actually make for beautiful highlighters, if anything. I am a frosty bitch or like an inner corner moment. I think that's where it kind of shines because it has that translucent base. So it really gives you that. Actually, hold on. Let's try something. Let's try this little pink moment here. Oh, no, no, it's blue. Let's try this blue moment here. Ooh, bitch. Alien slut. Who? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I love it. They make for wonderful highlighters. For eyeshadows, they're so good. <laughs> they're so good. They're no frills. They are literally the most boring, basic bullshit colors you will ever see in your life. But the quality is actually really, really nice. They're soft, 
but incredibly pigmented. The shimmer is fantastic. Applied with some glitter glue, it has amazing longevity. I didn't experience any patchiness or any difficulty using the shades. They're wonderful. They're so good. And it actually makes me want to try their eyeshadow palette. I know there is an eyeshadow palette. I've never tried it. But if the quality is like this, then I'm excited about that. But to me, the star of the shows obviously are the blushes. There's something about the one size formula. I don't know what it is. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's just so beautiful. Yes, they're definitely a stronger pigmentation. So a little bit does go a long way, but I just love how effortless and beautiful they look. It gives you that full coverage bitch moment. I'm obsessed. So this was a palette that like, again, I only got it for the blush. I am not disappointed, but the more I use it, the more I'm like, oh, this shit is fucking good. The rest of the collection, eh, like the highlighter is too dark. So like, I can't really fuck with that one. The puff I actually haven't used because I think it's just kind of perfect. I don't want to touch it. It's just living in its bed. <laughs> <laughs> but this though is something kind of worth checking out. I know, I, I could hear you being like, really? That's how much I like it. I know ColourPop recently released a neutral palette. I prefer this a hell of a lot more over that ColourPop palette. The ColourPop palette's fine. This formula though is so fucking good. Yes, and I'm saying that even knowing fully well that I could only literally create like two fucking looks with this. This is just like a good go-to palette if you want something fast and easy. This is fucking fantastic. I know, I can't believe what I'm saying. I I love that. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Now I'm gonna move back to highlighters because I realized I glossed over them. And uh, to be honest with you, I only really have like two. I know. Uh, the first one is the House Labs. This is the Bio Radiant Gel Pep. <laughs> the Bio Radiant Gel Highlighter. This is in the shade uh, Moonstone. This is like a fucking beautiful soft white highlighter. It kind of reminds me a little bit of my Burberry highlighter. It has that beautiful like soft focus feel. This is gorgeous. And I like the formula one because it's a very alien slut, but I love how it just blends very effortlessly and beautifully into the rest of my base. So I look forward to actually picking up uh, more shades in this formula. Uh, but yeah, don't be scared of Moonstone. If you're uncooked chicken like me, it's gonna work out, babe. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> if you love an icy moment, that's like your icy bitch moment. It's so good. The other ones I wanna talk about and kind of give a, like an appreciation for is Pat McGrath. Listen, their highlighters, <sighs> Now this is a fucking highlighter. Every highlighter that I've ever had from Pat McGrath has not disappointed me. And these little singles that she released this year, they do not disappoint. They're blind. I'm so sorry. My hand is so fucked up. Like <laughs> from all the swatching. Ugh. Anyway, these do not disappoint. They're blinding, they're slutty, they blend beautifully into the skin. They don't sit on top, they melt. It gives you that alien slut glow. People will be cowering at your feet when you're in their presence. This is something you don't fuck with. I don't know what they do to that formula, but it's fantastic and if they ever change it, I will lose my shit. That's how good these are. Now, I know um, usually uh, around the holidays, they always come out with like other highlighters and I did purchase them or whatever the holiday ones were, but I purchased them unfortunately through <laughs> Pat McGrath's website. So I probably won't see them for six years at least, but I look forward to getting them. <laughs> whenever I do. But in the meantime, the ones that are available on Sephora, if you're looking for shades like me, Uncooked Chicken, Golden Moonlight, Lunar Allure, they're two fantastic shades. So highly recommend them. This is probably, dare I say, my favorite highlighter formula right now. There's just something just so soft and beautiful about them, but yet so commanding, slutty realness. Fucking gorgeous. And before I move on to hair, let's talk about some lip products. It's mostly lip oil. <laughs> But the one product that's not lip oil that I want to talk about is from Urban Decay. The Vice Lip Bond Glossy Lipstick, they're everything that you want them to be. I know I recently talked about them, so I'm not going to like beat a dead horse. These are fucking fantastic and I look forward to the sale because I'm going to pick up some more colors. They are so good. I have been wearing this one for, I don't know, for hours now. So I have it in the shade, actually my favorite one is Text Them. Oh my God, it's just a very beautiful, basic bitch pink moment. I just, oh, it's so good. It's one of those colors that just looks flattering and good with everything. But what I love about it though is the formula. I'm someone that has again, notoriously dry skin, notoriously dry lips. I often have like chapstick or lip oil within five feet of me at, at all times. That said, when I hear liquid lipstick, I think that's the most disgusting thing <laughs> in the world because it's going to suffocate my lips, not these. These are so good. First of all, you shake them, jerk them off a little bit, but then once you apply them and you let them dry down, they last forever. 
forever. I could be eating or drinking and they just have the best longevity. I have recently tried the House Labs one. I have two of them and I know I featured them in a video, but I have since been playing with them and I, I don't know. I don't know. It's not this formula to me. A lot of people like the House Labs ones and I just think they're okay. These I feel like just more comfortable with. The House Labs ones, I feel like I have to like do this for like a really long period of time. <laughs> for them to dry down and for me to feel comfortable. These have a very fast dry down. These don't get gummy, they don't get weird. They feel and look hydrating in the lips. And at the end of the day, they are probably some of the most comfortable lip products that I have ever owned. So yes, 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 a thousand times yes. I need more of these and uh, fucking, they need to just keep pumping these out. These are fantastic. Again, I wanted to like the House Labs one, but I just don't like them nearly as much as their Urban Decay. Of course, I recommend Dior Lip Oils, okay? I have literally six of them in my hand. They are wonderful. I don't even think I can pick up any more. Actually, I think I have all the colors, <laughs> which is a little sad for me <laughs> because I want them all. They are probably pants down the best lip oil I've ever tried. Then underneath that would be Lunar Beauty because Lunar Beauty is like top notch. Then under that are going to be these two other lip oils that I mentioned, but the Dior ones though, they're expensive. Yes, but they're so luxurious. And it's one of those products that just looks so beautiful and supple and just comfortable and hydrating and juicy and just lovely. Obviously, you know, if you're eating or drinking, yes, they're going to start like breaking away, but they break away in such a beautiful way where you don't feel like you need to put any more additional product or chapstick or anything that's going to provide instant hydration on the lips. Like these have incredible longevity love them to fucking pieces. There's not one shade that I like more. I just think they're all fantastic. They're so fucking good. They're so good. And this one, I'm like, literally, I, I literally have nothing left in this one, but I'm holding on. Like there's just like a little product left and I could see it. Oh, it's so good. This is probably my favorite thing that I found this year. Dior lip oils. I get the hype. I know I, I get the hype, but the other lip oils that I want to mention, the other one is from house labs. A lot of people said that this smells like meat. It doesn't. Again, I don't have the strongest sense of smell, but it doesn't smell like raw meat. <laughs> or anything weird. This is another one that's super comfortable to wear. The reason why I don't love it as much as Dior is that Dior has a chokehold on me and, and it is what it is. But this is something that I would definitely repurchase again. I definitely think it's worth checking out and I plan on getting at least another uh, color or two because I want to see if there's any differences between the formula. But this one I have is in the shade secondary. It's just like a nice like hot orange shade. This is fucking cool. And the other one is from Merit. So I have never tried anything from Merit and this bitch, it doesn't disappoint. So while most of my lip oils do not have any color, this one has color and it's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The day that Dior has color though, it's over. <laughs> just it's over bitch but this one is in the shade on natural this is gorgeous again another basic bitch moment yes it's one of those products that again has great longevity just feels so comfortable on the lips provides instant hydration like just it's so good and of course i love the color of it because it's just one of those colors that i feel like just universally just looks good with everything it doesn't matter what you have on your face like you have a little bit of this and you're good to go but i uh, highly recommend checking this out and of course the last thing i want to talk about um for lip products is from tatcha this is the kisu lip mask this is wonderful. I think this is pretty much every time I start doing my makeup, I always have this on. This is the perfect product to like start your day with. This is a product that keeps your lips nice, soft, and supple. So when you're ready to add your lipstick to complete your look, your lips are just like super primed and ready to go. This is fucking everything. Initially, there was only one shade, but they recently released this one, which is in Plum Blossom. So the original is like the Japanese peach lip jelly. I'm already at the bottom of it. I just have like a little bit left, but I keep holding on to it. But this one, the Plum Blossom though, oh my God, this is also another good product, kind of very similar to like the Merit lip oil where there is a little bit of color to it. So I'll actually, to give you a little bit of a comparison of like what the original one looks like, which I don't know if you'll be able to see. But the original one has no color. The newer one has a little bit of like a baby pink color. That's perfect. This is so good. This one's perfect because I like that little bit of color. It's not super intense and it has the same properties as the normal Kiss lip mask except it just gives you that little bit of extra and sometimes I just been wearing this on its own and oh bitch it's so good it's so good I love it I'm gonna be on the lookout if they are going to be releasing more shades in this this is fantastic but anyway highly recommend checking these out and then I think that's it in terms of makeup I'll kind of quickly just talk about some hair care stuff because a lot of people have been asking me like hey bitch what are you doing for hair care it looks good and the only things I want to recommend the first thing is from IGK I'm just gonna put a picture of it up here. This is called the Direct Flight Multitasking Dry Shampoo. This is great. 
I have tried so many dry shampoos. This is the one that I keep coming back to time and time again. I think what makes it special for me is that it one doesn't leave a white cast and two it really kind of um, I don't know it like zhuzhes up my hair in a way that it feels like I didn't have dry shampoo product in there. I don't know about you but sometimes uh, with dry shampoo it can be kind of almost too much for the hair and it just feels kind of heavy and almost powdery and it's just like a very funky fucking texture and it's like ooh, what, what are you doing? This one no matter how much product I use I don't experience that with. I really enjoy it. I have very very fine hair and it just it works so beautifully for me. Love it love it love it. So good. The other two products that I have been exclusively using for shampoo and conditioner are from Way. They are for fine hair the shampoo and conditioner little set so good. I usually have issues with like hair breakage or shampoos or conditioners just like providing like gnarly fucking buildup where it looks like I have dandruff and it's so annoying or it dries out my scalp. These are the two products that have just been loving the shit out of my hair. It always gives me like a glorious shine. Always smells so good. I find that my hair feels stronger and just like overall just really good. So if you're looking to try them out, they're expensive. So that's why I recommend looking at them during the sale. Each one kind of retails for $30. It's a lot of fucking money and I even was like, ooh, I don't know how I feel about this. But now I can't stop using it and now I created a monster. But I feel like my hair has never looked better. I think with between that and I think like the Blissey silk pillowcases, like it's just like my hair has been wonderful. And then of course I'll leave you with this. There are a few styling products I recommend and the only ones which I feel like I, I talk about in every, every Sephora recommendation video only because they are the most expensive things is the Dyson products. I think the Dyson products are well worth the money. Yes, they are very fucking expensive. They are super expensive. And I think that's why if you can get them on sale, that's the best time to get them. Definitely the hair straightener. Once you go cordless, bitch, it's hard to go back. That cordless hair straightener, it's so good. It doesn't break my hair. It always kind of leaves everything like a silky smooth shine. Everything is just so nice, nice and straight. I fucking love it. Their blow dryer is top notch. Blow dries my hair in literally four seconds. I fucking love it. But the one product though that I feel like is so worth checking out is this little guy here. And I'm sorry, he's kind of gross. So don't mind him. But this is from Dry Bar. I believe this is the double shot blow dryer brush. I know they have a smaller one. It's like a half shot one. So because my hair is pretty long, uh, I have the bigger one. This is fucking fantastic. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my Dyson. I love it to pieces, but that's only if I'm looking for like a quick blow dry and then I'm just gonna be like straightening my hair. I am not good when it comes to styling my hair. Just not. I don't know what this is and this is the best that I can do and I love it. <laughs> Like this, this is just me being adorable. But no, really, like when it comes to like blowing out my hair, I honestly rather pay someone to do it. I can't, like I fucking, I don't know how they do it. Even though it looks so easy, it's not easy. It's so, to me, it's so fucking difficult to do. And the brushes, you gotta get the certain brush, you gotta section your hair out. I honestly rather just pay somebody money to do it because I know they're gonna do a fantastic fucking job and they always make me looking like I have like super flouncy, beautiful, thick hair when we all know I don't have it. I found this product over the summertime and initially I actually picked it up on Amazon because it was on sale during like Prime Day or whatever and I was like oh, I've always wanted to try this and um, I really like dry bar I like dry bar stuff and I kind of miss that we don't I don't think there's a dry bar in Orlando makes me sad but I was like oh I, I kind of want to try this I want to see if there's like any hype to this or whatever it's so good I feel like I now know how to blow dry my hair out and make it all like flouncy and pretty granted it's never going to be as beautiful as someone actually physically doing my hair because I don't know how the fuck they get it to be like that big and glorious but for what I can do and how easy it is to use absolutely now I know there are other brands of definitely like I think there's like a, a Revlon one or like a Hot Tools one or, or something like that like you could totally find like in Target or whatever that is way cheaper I obviously can't speak to the quality of them. I heard they're really good. I don't know. This is the only brush I have ever tried. So I think if you were ever interested in wanting to check out the dry bar one, it has my little stamp of approval. But just know this is definitely something that you could potentially find cheaper elsewhere for sure, right? Obviously, I know I'm paying for the name, but as for like a tool though, this is something that kind of exceeded my expectations. I thought it was just going to be okay. It turned out to be some a product that I actually pretty much use all the time. So I love that. But if I had to pick one of the hair things I recommend, I say Dyson, obviously they're like in a different fucking category compared to this little hair blow dryer. It's still really good but like if you had to kind of pick obviously the Dyson is just like the quality is like fucking top notch. Yeah that's it. That's all I got for the Sephora sale. That was a lot. Holy fuck. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I hope you find this helpful. Everything you need to know about this sale will be listed down in the description box below, including the dates along with actual links to the products that I mentioned. And again, 
please remember to shop responsibly shop responsibly okay shop responsibly and um yeah i'm exhausted now with that said i want to hear from y'all let me know down below what products you plan on picking up during the sale let me know and of course if there's anything that you would like for me to review let me know down below i would love to hear from you and uh with that said i want to say thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate it as always feel free to like comment hit that subscribe button it's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts follow me on twitter instagram patreon and youtube members thank you so much for keeping this delicious disgusting filthy trashy really trashy really filthy really gross nasty but also fun garbage boat afloat couldn't do it without you i love your adorable little delicious faces i just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we could be one and it could be a great old time and with that said i'll see you little pumpkins later bye